Welcome back travel fans, it's Morgan here again from the very unofficial travel guides and I'm back again today with another fun thing you can do at home to help you plan or feel like you're on vacation. Last week we checked out the Walt Disney World app, My Disney Experience, and this week I'm going to check out another smartphone app and it's from Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. Let's go! This is what the app looks like and I have it here on my iPad but it's actually an iPhone app so that is the true size of it and there the resolution looks a little bit better but if you have it on a tablet then you can press the two times down here and it'll fill up more of the screen. And these are your options. Let's try one out. Let's find a cruise. And we'll say I want to go in October and I want to go to someplace warm, Caribbean. And it'll show us which ships are left. Oh, definitely Oasis of the Seas. Departure port. Well, it only leaves from Fort Lauderdale, so we'll pick that. And now it'll show us the results down here. So, the least expensive is here. A uh, seven-night Caribbean cruise on the Oasis of the Seas for 646 euros. Let's check it out. Here it tells me the, the prices for the different categories. And I think it's cool it has here the complete itinerary. And uh, if I want to book it, I can press book now. It'll tell me the different ways that I can book it. Let's go back into the beginning of the app here and see, um, view our staterooms. That's kind of cool because you can choose any of the ships. Like, let's take here the navigator. I've been on the navigator actually, so if you want to see a video of the ship or of the cabins on the ship, click the link here. So this will show you inside all the different room categories or cabin categories on each individual ship. Let's look at the Royal Family Suite. Wow. It tells you the information about it and gives you a higher quality picture here. I've never been in one of those. Maybe next time. And uh, what else? This is one thing that I also think is really cool is you can actually check out webcams on some of the ships. The Oasis and the Allure. Let's, uh, let's look at the Flow Rider webcam on the Allure of the Seas. I don't have to take it. Oh, well, it's obviously closed right now because it's really early in the morning. But maybe we can find some people in the Royal Promenade. Oh yeah, check it out. Either this is an old picture or those people are up really early because it's like 5.30 in the morning there right now. I'm assuming this isn't a current picture. And that's that. I still got about another month and a half until my next trip, which is going to be to Disneyland in California. Really looking forward to that. So uh, I'm looking forward to making more videos like this for you. And if you have any suggestions of things I can check out or things that you like to do before you go on vacation, let me know and I will explore them as well. Also, I've said it a hundred times before and I'm just going to keep saying it over and over again. If this is the first one of my videos that you've seen, there's a ton more on my YouTube channel, so subscribe and check out the other videos or go over to Morgan's very unofficial travel guides at Facebook to look at thousands of pictures of cruises and amusement parks and tourist destinations around the world. See you soon!